When looking at your retirement planning, one area that's important to pay attention to, and I think is often overlooked because of the complexity, is your tax situation. So you might have some anxiety or overwhelm around how taxes work, particularly in retirement. And there's a lot of new things that you're doing in retirement that you haven't done while you're working. You know, while you're working, it's pretty simple. For most people, you set up your W-2, you set up your withholdings. If you didn't withhold enough, then you pay a little bit more. If you withheld too much, then you get some money back. But when you get into retirement, now you're working with some vehicles and, and ways of withdrawing money that you might not be used to. Uh, so you, you want to make sure that you're optimizing your taxes. And I think that's the right way to look. You, you never want to pay more than you have to for anything. So there's a lot of important decisions to make. You know, the first one is if you have IRAs or a TSP or 401k, then you know, any money that comes out of that is going to be taxable as full ordinary income. If you have money that's just in a, a regular brokerage account, uh, that's what we would call a non-qualified account, uh, the growth on that is going to be taxed at capital gains tax rates, which currently, uh, as at the time of recording this video, is, is lower. So, you know, there's some coordination that maybe needs to happen there. You may want to look at your Social Security. Another thing a lot of people don't realize is that not all of your Social Security is going to be fully taxable. A portion of your Social Security, depending on your income, is not going to be taxable. So then the question that taxes might come into play when looking at Social Security timing. Do you start at your full retirement age? Or do you push it back later and maybe take money out of your uh, TSP or IRAs in the time that you're waiting? Because the other thing that's going to happen with taxes is when you turn 72, you're going to have to start taking required minimum distributions. Then there's a whole thing around taxes and, and inheritance and making sure that you understand how that works so that you, you are optimizing. If, if leaving a legacy is important, uh, you're optimizing the tax benefits to your loved ones uh, so that money stays in the family and doesn't go to the IRS. So it is, and you can just tell, and, and even me talking this through right now, that there's a lot of moving pieces and it's really complex. Unfortunately, because there's so many pieces and because it's complex, uh, it's, it's too much for me to address uh, in this short video. Uh, but hopefully that gives you an idea of some of the things to look at and, and some of the ways to think when approaching taxes in retirement. And the other disclaimer I'll say is that, you know, we are financial planners, so I'm not a, uh, a CPA. I don't do taxes professionally. And so any really specific tax questions, you know, I would always recommend that you talk with a tax professional. But I would love to ask, answer any questions that you have around uh, withdrawals, timing, taxes as it relates to your investments. And if you have questions and want to discuss that further, then go ahead and give me a call. We'll include the number at the end of this video.